Hello. Welcome to Crafting as Therapy. Today I wanted to share a new product I found. I'd seen it on the Plaid website um, a while back and thought, well, let's see if they have it out in the stores yet. And this is what I found. It comes with a smaller size as well. I want to say maybe that's the 8 ounce version, whereas these are, you know, is a total of 16 ounces. Can't recall the price I paid. Blank day. <laughs> but it was a decent price, so I was more than happy to try a new product from one of my favorite craft companies. This is the these are the bottles, part one and part two. The part one is probably the thickest resin I've ever used. Um, it took a little longer to mix, but as I experienced with my first project, it was well worth it. Um, the final the way this feels compared to some of my other um, first tries on other resins, I am very pleased with the quality. You can see how the ink drops and such. This was really fun to try. Just a little candle holder. You can find the mold on Amazon. But today, just for simplicity, I already have a batch mixed up. Usually I don't mix more than 100 milliliters at a time. I've seen too many other crafters in the different craft groups that they've mixed too much and then it flash cures and then you waste a whole bunch. These are the cups I use. They're from a different company that I order uh, resin from um, and as you can see I mark them those are the sizes that I generally measure it um, and I always mark these cups with what type of resin um, just in case I don't get them completely cleaned out I have no idea what different brands do when they mix with each other so trying to keep my craft room safe. But this is what I have so far. And the cup is actually warm, so it's starting to do its process. Um, I've had it sitting for about five minutes after I mixed it. But this is my handy dandy timer I use. Um, picked it up at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Because of the thickness of this resin, I actually mixed it for almost five minutes. Whereas in the instructions, it recommends only three. But it actually comes with a nice instruction sheet, um, how to prepare your workspace, mixing instructions. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, you measure this, you don't wanna use your scale. Um, it also shares 30 to 40 minute work time, which is amazing. And the simple cleanup process. And then of course, PPE, which is why I have nitrile gloves on. Um, always important to work in a well ventilated area. Um, I unfortunately do not have a mask right now but my craft room is the biggest room in our house, so I think that with the fan on, the windows open, um, even with my space heater on, which is doesn't make much sense, but it works. Um, then I have these gloves that I pick up at Menards, and it comes in a wide variety of sizes, so everybody should be able to find what they're looking for. But just for today's video, I'm just gonna do a simple 
little coaster. I actually use these. Um, I fill them and then I'll attach. I have a mold for, it kind of is the size of a shot glass, a little bit bigger. Um, and Actually, I'll show you because I have my little dot tools in it. And then I'll attach one or two of them on there. That just adds a nice little decorative piece for your desk. You can make them all different colors. And the fun thing about these, you can pour a thin layer of resin. And if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette or Brother or whatever cutting machine, you can make decals, put them in there, pour another coat over there, over the design, let it cure for the day. Then the next day you can come in, you can add any type of filler that you would like, glitter. I always recommend putting it in layers just so that it doesn't saturate your design. Kind of like if you're gonna use ink, which is what I'm planning on doing today. And some pinata, the stuff's cat's meow. Um, I have like six brands of alcohol ink. For this little project, I'm just gonna use my Bria Reese. Comes in a wide variety of colors and I even have some that has glitter already in it. As you can see, I'm stirring this and it's already starting to thicken. So we need to get the ball moving on this. And I also have my heat gun plugged in, so we'll have to use that a little bit for the bubbles. And because of the size of the mold and that it's not very thick, it's completely okay to add all of this resin to it. Um, if it was a thicker mold, a smaller but thicker, I would do it in layers. And I know a lot of you will ask, well, how does it smell? Is it really strong? Is it, does it make you feel icky? <laughs> um, so far, I'm kind of one of those people allergic to everything. And so far, I have not had an issue. This is my second project with it. Um, haven't had any issues. It is stronger than my usual resin. Um, my usual resin actually doesn't really smell at all. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's better or worse. Um, it just means that the more you can smell something, the more PPE you should use. Granted, you should probably use it for resin anyways, no matter what. But you do you. I'm not your boss, so <laughs> I'm just telling you safety tips. If you are concerned and not working in a well-ventilated area, please wear a mask because there is a lot of things resin can do. Pop some of these bubbles. Sorry for the noise. But as you can see, the bubbles dissipate pretty easy. And you don't ever want to hold your heat gun or your torch um, close to your mold because you can not only damage your mold, but your resin can get. Um, ripples in it. I'm just going to do some little drops. <clears throat> I always like to watch them do their thing, how they spread and change.
then the fun part, the way this pinata is, when you put it on top of the ink, it will, because it's so heavy, it'll pull the ink through. And you're not gonna see it right away. It kind of happens over time as the curing process goes. And you can come back with more ink. You don't ever wanna put too much ink as that will uh, make your curing process longer. And luckily so far I have not had that issue, but some white in blank areas too. You notice how it will add some more. Something else you can do. This is what I use for dot art. You want to make sure never to put, whether you use something like this or a toothpick or a popsicle stick, you don't want to put it all the way down on your mold because it will actually scratch your mold. I have some uh, keychain molds that I actually ruined from doing that when I first started. But it's cool because you can do... As you can see, it's already starting to set up, which is completely okay. And I just take a baby wipe. I always keep baby wipes on my uh, desk or work table. Um, well, for one, you don't wanna let resin dry on these because once it's there, <laughs> it is a stinker to get off. But there we have just a swirly design with our Mod Podge resin. Um, being I didn't fill it all the way, um, I can either leave it as is, leave it that thin, or I can come back in later and um, fill it up more. And we'll see. I didn't notice on my first project if there was any shrinking, um, but by the way this part looks, I would have to say there wasn't any, um, which is a big plus. Um, sometimes some resins um, tend to shrink um, as they cure, and this one it was pretty spot on. And as you can, if you can look close, there isn't too many bubbles in there either, so it degassed very nicely too. But we'll come back later and pop this out and see what it looks like. The fun thing with stuff like this, you can drill a hole in them, um, especially if you use these smaller ones, and you can use them as sun catchers. So, I don't know anybody who doesn't like sun catchers, so we'll see what happens when it's cured. See you soon. All right, it's time to take a look at our project. It's been about 15, 16 hours. I did add a thin layer afterwards. And as you can see, I was sucking some out of another project so it has a little bit of silver flake. I'll actually show you that project too. These pop out really nice. You just go around, loosen the edge. You can see how the thickness. And if you look, you can see I have quite a few micro bubbles still in there. But that's okay. I 
kind of like the bubbles sometimes. It adds a little, a little extra character. But that is how it, here, I'll show it close up. You can see like the streaks. If you can see how the light's shining through it. Just a fun little tray you can use to set things on or whatnot. Ooh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Got away from me. Yeah, this one has quite a few micro bubbles. I don't know if you can see see them close up or not. But I like the way the color is blended and stuff. Adds that little extra. Let's take this guy out. This one is actually a combination. Um, it was left the one part is leftover ink from our resin from another project. And I wasn't sure what to do with it, so I just poured it in this one. And then when I made another batch to make the disc thicker, then I poured that in and then added some, added some of this stuff. It's the first time I ever used this, so it was, I'm excited to see how it looks in there. Some people like to put a lot and some use a little. And it's really light. <laughs> I actually had some blowing around my craft room because it's that light. The fan picked it up really quick. Oh, well that's kind of different. It's kind of interesting that one one petal with with the clear that's how it looks on the back if you can see in this not as many bubbles as the other one but hmm not bad. I really like this mold. You can get it on Amazon. But the finish is really nice. It, um, you can see the two different So I am going to give this product a thumbs up. Um, my craft room smells really strong of resin from it, um, but not as bad as other resins have smelled, so it's kind of, I guess it's comforting knowing that there are ones that are smell worse. But to uh, eliminate that, you know, make sure you have a window open, wear your PPE, um, I'm definitely gonna check into it um, because I really enjoyed this resin and I just wanna make sure I'm doing it the safe, safest way possible. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial trying Mod Podge resin for the first time. Give it a whirl, let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day, take care.